Wow, look at this. That's uh, the homemade batch right there. Good afternoon. So right now, I am in Battambong. I come to a uh, village to see my family. So and uh, hope in my family in Riverside. So I enjoy very enjoy with the people here and uh, my friend here. So it's nice for train, yeah, and have good time. So okay, and uh, and home in Riverside is not uh, so good, but people happy to live there. And it's okay for everyone because and Cambodian original how <laughs> you see, yeah, yeah. And um, it's like uh, not not have aircon, just have fun, and people can sleep. So and uh, but and uh, the people cannot sleep uh, without aircon. But in Cambodian, it's okay, no problem. So can sleep without aircon. You see. <laughs> <laughs> no aircon, no problem. They play in the home and my family in Battambong. I'm happy to see in, uh, my family again to, because I don't see uh, for a long time, about maybe 10 years, 15 years ago. Yeah, I am, I am happy to see uh, family again. So, this one original Khmer house in Cambodia. Linda meets everybody. She comes home. She meets all kinds of people. Hey. <laughs> this should be a good day guys this is uh the second family reunion here we've had uh with uh linda's family this is her papa side of the family and uh, we did the mama side before um and they live i mean we we drove about two hours down dirt roads i mean it's <laughs> about as far off the grid as you can get um yeah so i'm excited we got about six cases of beer a fifth of whiskey and some wine and lots of stuff to eat so this ought to be a good day let's go <laughs> how's it look oh my goodness oh wow hey honey look at you <laughs> riverside girl right at home here yeah it looks really good wow Nice ribs, marinated. Holy smokes! I can't wait to eat. It'll be very good. See the traditional uh, Kamara barbecue uh, here with the charcoal. Check this out. Uh, that's what they use, but it's already cooked. We buy yesterday, and then they cook today. Uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. It looks really delicious. Can't wait to try it out. Who gets the pig ears? The dog or us? <laughs> yeah. I made a uh, whiskey. Now I made a uh, whiskey and a uh, whiskey <laughs> coke to my family drink. Yeah. So people never drink like that. Oh, whiskey coke. Yeah, whiskey coke. And uh, this one whiskey. Oh Wait. my goodness! Whiskey and with the uh, coca, like whiskey coke. <laughs> we got everybody here, guys. It's a good day today. We got everybody here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uncle, the cousins, the brothers, sisters. Uh, we got the pork and uh, this stuff here, which is traditional, uh, as if it's not spicy enough. They bust, they bust out this over here. Which, uh, what do you call this right here? Uh, uh, this one. The spicy, yeah. Uh, but I don't know how to English to say it's spicy. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, like even like a Mexican salsa, but only better. It's like crazy spicy. Mess up your head. Ho, ho. Make it hard to breathe. Uh, man, it's crazy spicy. Yeah, we're just uh, eating here, guys. Traditional style here in Cambodia. Just everybody sitting around, passing the food around. Let's check out the festivities here. Yeah, I take a non-take talk about 
That's how you, this is how you do barbecue in Cambodia, guys. Look at this. We just got to cut it right off the pig over there. And now we bring it over here. We got the spicy sauce. Chopsticks. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. Got some cold beer. We got some fresh greens. Yeah, good stuff there. Oh, man, I can't wait. It's going to be so delicious. Yeah, we're about as far away from anywhere as you can get, guys. Uh, they say uh, it's like a 20 minute ride to the nearest little roadside stand to get any type of very little convenience here. Um, it's so quiet out here. I mean, you can hear the wind, you can hear the birds, uh, you know, coming from America where it's so crazy busy and everybody's hurry, rush, rush, rush. Uh, to come out here, it's so refreshing. It's very few places left in this world, at least from an American standpoint, uh, where you can actually find peace and quiet. Uh, I, we're going to leave before dark, though, because the roads are pretty rough leaving, and uh, we don't really know our way around. Uh, it's been about 10 years since Linda's been here to see her family, so um, uh, she spent two years out here when she was young, and uh, so it's kind of neat to see everybody. She gets to see family that she hasn't seen in a long time, and uh, 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 a few months back when we went to her other family's side of the family's uh, place there for party um, reunion, uh, some of them showed up here today, too. This old shack is where Linda gave birth to one of her babies our sons right here no anesthesia no surgeon right here guys this is how they do it in cambodia tough as nails linda's been through a lot and uh it's so nice to see uh, and learn about her family history but i can't imagine as a woman having to give birth in a place like this here and uh how difficult that might have been for her and the pain not to mention Um, I got to see a picture and hear the story about her grandpa, um, who, uh, was 110 years old. He died last year, never drink, never smoke. And, uh, man, the stories he could tell, I could only imagine. I wish I could listen to what he had to say. Um, it really gave me an eye-opening experience about hearing about all the years of Pol Pot and just the, the history of Cambodia and the struggles that people have been through. And uh, what, what, what a great opportunity I've enjoyed today uh, and, and with Linda and her family. The uh, video was a little bit different than normal because it was more personal. But I wanted to show everybody, and Linda too, about our life here and family and how uh, the East and West come together and we all joined and uh, just how, how life can be. Uh, there was no differences of politics or, or, or colors or anything of the nature. Everybody came together as one. We had a communal food. Uh, we drank wine and beer and had a great day. And uh, I'll take you guys out with some great footage uh, of the riverside here. And um, that would be that. So, uh, yeah, I leave here with a, with a full heart and a great time and a full stomach. Uh, thank you again to Linda's family for an amazing experience once again. I love you guys and uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Until next time, safe travels from Mahoney Travels. We'll see you guys soon. Ciao.